Viewer discretion is advised. The warehouse was a blasphemy of a surgical ward. Instead of life-saving equipment, rusty chains were caked in blood, dull knives stood in for scalpels, and hospital gowns were replaced with crimson hooded shrouds. The chant of the cultists in a foul tongue repeated themselves over and over again. A pregnant woman lay on a filthy operating table on top of a ritual circle drawn in blood. The cult leader stepped forward, his hand gripping a ceremonial dagger. Oh my crimson king, bless this vessel before you with your unholiness and the seventh ender of worlds. With both hands gripping the wicked dagger, he raised it in the air above him with absolute conviction, intent on bringing their demonic god to the human realm. I offer myself up as tribute, oh my king! Suddenly, bang, the doors came crashing down as Agent Raven busted them wide open. Stop! This is the... What the... He saw in front of him the profane scenery and was quickly taken over by rage. You bunch of filthy bastards! I'll send you all to hell! He couldn't think. Raven simply opened fire, for all that was in the room were evil and must be stopped. Die! Ah! Raven kept squeezing the trigger until the magazine ran empty and started clicking. It took him a moment to realize. Raven threw his rifle away, but his hands couldn't stop shaking. <laughs> then an ever so faint laughter was heard. <laughs> Raven pulled out his sidearm and charged at the crazed zealot. He pushed the barrel firmly against his forehead. What's so funny, huh? I should just end you right now. You're too late, Foundation. You can't stop this. The ritual is complete. What are you saying? Suddenly, an ear-piercing scream echoed through the room. Behold, the seventh child of Scarlet King, the World Eater, the bringer of end times. <laughs> No! Raven rushed to the woman's side as she writhed on the table with excruciating agony. Conflicted, he wrestled with his inner turmoil. She's about to give birth to something terrible. Do I shoot her? Or do I save her? But how? Raven's head was about to burst, but it was too late anyway, for the ritual was completed. The seventh child of the Scarlet King, the World Eater, and the bringer of end times was born. Before them was a golden, slimy, translucent blob, almost like jelly even. It looked as menacing as a golden retriever. The newborn gurgled and slithered around, sniffing its surroundings like a curious puppy. What? what? Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Safe Class Object, SCP-999. SCP-999 appears as a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime. It weighs about 120 pounds and has a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. 999 is capable of changing its shape and size at will, though its preferred form closely resembles a dome. Its body is filled with an unknown viscous orange substance. It can also eat and digest organic matter with ease. The purpose of 999's birth is to usher in the end of the world, plunging it into chaos and utter mayhem. Yet, nothing could be further from the truth about the squishy ball of joy. Despite its horrific origin, it is not only well-mannered, but is also welcomed by all Foundation personnel. 999 loves to hug and snuggle with just about anyone, all the while emitting gurgling and cooing noises. Simply touching it will bring relief and happiness to even the most miserable existence. A far cry from the would-be god of death that the children of the Scarlet King had envisioned, it's truly hard to think that the world was supposed to end on the night of the birth of SCP-999. The Tickle Monster In a realm as far away as you can imagine, but closer to us than anyone is comfortable admitting, resides one of the most powerful and horrifying ancient beings in existence, the Scarlet King. A being whose only thoughts are destruction, where every single desire means to bring about harm and devastation in the most grotesque ways imaginable. This personification of evil and oblivion is held in check by a single chain. 
legends speak of its power to conquer and destroy worlds, threatening all creations across dimensions. Even the low elder gods tread lightly around the Overlord. Thus, the Scarlet King is classified as a multiverse threat. The Scarlet King's depiction varies across different sources. Its true appearance is beyond comprehension, so its form changes depending on who gazes upon it. It is said that the Scarlet King is the manifestation of humans' dissatisfaction with modern life, a primal desire to return to violence, a secret yearning for the darkness long before time. It hungers for negative emotions and infects anyone who opposes it with madness. As such, the Scarlet King is worshipped as an unholy deity by its followers, predominantly the cult called the Children of the Scarlet King. These fanatics seek to quell the weakness in humanity by promoting endless wars, casting away any idea of peace and freedom. The Children of the Scarlet King constantly perform rituals in an attempt to free their demonic god from imprisonment. One such ritual involved preparing seven young girls as appropriate vessels to bear their master's horrid offspring. And their purpose? To usher in a new age of chaos and disarray. Each birth caused more destruction than the last, and the last and seventh birth was said to bring about the apocalypse. However, the seventh bride was not like the rest. Her will was not broken by the king's subjugation. And thus, instead of an eldritch horror, she gave birth to SCP-999 with the hopes that one day it will defeat its six siblings and overthrow its father, the Scarlet King. But for now, 999 has found its home in the SCP Foundation. Its caring nature and playful demeanor is a welcome addition for the personnel and their morale. 999 even engages in spirited tickle wrestling matches with the staff, especially his favorite ones. <laughs> Hey, hey, stop it. <laughs> oh, God, not that spot. Have mercy. <laughs> However, due to its size, it may accidentally hurt its opponent when things get too excited sometimes. Oh, my arm, my arm. Ah! It's, it's okay. Don't worry, not your fault. This is but an easy fix. Just got to get to the infirmary. Oh. Recently, 999 has been helping Dr. Jack Bright's therapy sessions to help Foundation personnel suffering from mental trauma. After his mission, Agent Raven was called in for a session with Dr. Bright. My hands haven't stopped shaking since. I can still feel myself pulling the trigger. I, I couldn't help it, but I know I did the right thing. God, I was so, so close to ending her life right then and there. That poor woman. She doesn't deserve this. 999 gurgled and cooed as it snuggled against the remorseful agent, comforting him. Agent Raven, if it wasn't for you, she might not have made it at all. What's important is that she's safe now. You did a lot of good there in that hellhole. You've saved a life and brought back a wonderful asset to the Foundation. Good job. You should be proud. Indeed, what was born that night was everything but the bringer of Armageddon. As the golden blob slithered over to the dying cultist, he felt bliss that he had never felt before. And for a fleeting moment, regret. The cult leader died with a smile on his face, even after knowing that his plan was thwarted by the goodwill of humanity. Such is the contradiction of life. Agent Raven walked over and picked up the orange goop. When it touched him, he felt serenity and tranquility, a glimmer of hope in a sea of madness. Currently, 999 is allowed to roam freely within the facility, but must stay in its room either between 8 to 9 p.m. to sleep or during emergency lockdown for its own safety. 999 is not allowed out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any time. 999's room must be kept clean and have its food replaced twice daily. Any Foundation personnel on break are allowed inside to interact with it, 999 is to be played with when bored and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening tone. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Have a favorite SCP you want to see on this channel? Leave us your suggestions in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more SCP content, then check out some of our other videos right here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye!